Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Until Dawn. This is episode 24. Let's get stuck in, shall we? Josh! <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead! What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you are gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt. <laughs> now we're in trouble, guys. Oh, no. What's that? DOC! Get the hell out of here! Now! Is he helping us? <laughs> Hit her. What? What indeed? Oh, shit. What was that? Oh, shit. Oh, Emily, mines. 401. Alright. Alright, indeed. Yeah! Oh my god! Alright, Emma. Alright, let's go. Oh. I definitely oh. saw some sort of creature, guys. I'm, I'm absolutely sure of that. Jeez. What is going on? Alright. We're just gonna have to see. Our current objective is search for a way out of the mines. And we are with, with Emily's. Sorry about that. Let's have a look at these clues there's one updated one the film trophy one it's been updated josh learned about special effects from his dad's movie experience this is exactly what i actually mentioned myself when we were going through the house as sam we were trying to escape just before we were trying to escape from the psycho which actually was josh there is a lot of updated files here guys wanted poster update josh made this to set up his psycho story yeah that's that's nice found at the lower carbo cable car station okay this one is uh, updated the answer phone message it was josh's voice there never was an escaped convict wow he really went to lengths this guy to make it look like there was uh, something going on the next one is threatening letter Update another one of Josh's setups. There was no psycho Of course not because he was the psycho or he is the psycho Light from below there's an update here the light came from Josh's lair in the cellar All right The next clue is the business card Update so that's where Josh got all that gear. Okay. Yeah, he he ordered uh he was the one who ordered all the, the sauce and the blades and stuff. You know, the pig's head here. An update for that one. How many pigs died just so that Josh could punk his friends? Poor pigs. <laughs> Alright, next one. We're going to go through all of these guys. This is the axe. Josh put the axe here as part of his plan to freak his friends out. Yeah, of course he did. Of course he did. Next one is the hidden camera. There's an update for this. Josh had a plan to upload all this to the internet. And then there's the fake newspapers found at the old hotel. There's an update for this one. Josh had the newspapers faked to back up his psycho story. So he he's... He's basically, this is like a one-man show from him. 
all of these clues are just Josh punking us. The batteries and timers, this is how Josh controlled the TV doors and lights in the lodge. <clears throat> Let's see here. The next one is the dead pig. Update for this one, Josh needed the guts for this death machine. Yeah, that's some commitment to realism. I, we actually mentioned this earlier in the game as well, that we found the pig's head, but we couldn't find the rest of the pig. These are the photos of friends. The update for this is Josh had plenty of opportunity to take these over the last year, of course. No pictures of us or the rest of the guys. The next clue is the video camera. The update for this is uh, Josh was going to upload this, all this to the internet. We already knew that. And then there's the death machine plans. Update. That fake death machine must have cost Josh some serious money. Wow. He's a broke psycho. <laughs> there's uh, clue number 28 is the remembrance board. Josh made the board to honor the memory of his sisters. Okay, that's... That's fair enough. It's a bit creepy, but we kind of knew that. And the voice recording, of course. Josh used a voice modifier to sound like a psycho, which we already knew. It's nice to go through all of these, though. There's nothing new here. There's some butterfly effects. You can have a look at this one. And which one will die? Chris said that he would save Ashley. Ashley was grateful and felt indebted to Chris. If we just check out the new thing, Josh felt betrayed and antagonized Chris. Chris hit Josh. Okay. And then there's uh, an update for this one. Forewarned is forearmed. Let's have a look at this. Ashley took the scissors. Ashley stabbed the psycho. Ashley stabbed Josh. The psycho gave Ashley a black eye. And Chris hit Josh. Yeah, because the psycho was, was uh, Josh. Or is Josh. I'm just stalling, guys, because uh, I feel like there's definitely something chasing us here. Let's look over here first. We saw some type of monster or something. Oh, what's this? Let's have a look. It's a postcard. Clue found. Romantic postcard. On reverse. Billy Bates. Blasting crew. Northwest Mines, Alberta. Hey, Billy. I had a great time. Look me up if you're ever in Calgary. Loretta. Hugs and kisses. Okay. Billy Bates is one of the miners, I guess. I think we read about him before. Let's uh, have a closer look at this one. Romantic postcard. Okay, let's see. As found in the mine, a postcard of Calgary with a romantic message on the back. Update. Billy was part of the crew that blasted new tunnels deep in the mines. Okay. Yeah. We knew that. Nothing spectacular about this. It's a nice postcard though. Beautiful in Calgary. <laughs> I'm gonna try and check everything guys I don't want to miss anything I don't know if this is of course this is where we fell but I was just thinking maybe there's something around here we leave no stone unturned we have to do everything we can to save these guys <laughs> I feel like I've been trying to save Emily for like so long now okay there's a sign here Blackwood Mines. This area of the mine has recently suffered structural collapse. Please contact Foreman H. Tanner. Refer to map 7A.3 for more details. H. Tanner. Okay. So the mine could collapse at any time. That's super. Feel safe. Drop down. Okay. Guess we have no choice. Or no other choice. You can hear the screams. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's getting louder and louder. <laughs> the screams are like 
like needles in my ears, especially when you get the headset on. You can hear everything, absolutely everything. I can see something shining. I guess we have to investigate. That's a totem. Let's hope it's a good one. It's a fortune totem. It's Michael. He's uh, he's got a gun, doing something. Let's uh, let's have a closer look at this. Okay, fortune totem number four. Found in the mine by Emily. It's Michael. It looks like he's aiming, and then, or something happened, and he—I don't know. He may have shot someone. The screams are getting louder and louder. I think we're edging closer and closer to uh, to danger, guys. Just checking every nook and cranny. Make sure we don't miss anything on our way on our way there. Let's see over here, guys. There's something. I'm just gonna see if there's anything else. All right, that's the only thing shining. So okay. enter gap. Okay, this is gonna be the way. Oh. Holy moly! Oh. Oh. What? What is that? Are you kidding me? Oh, go left, go right, go right. Oh! God, bastard. Oh my god, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Josh is definitely not like the main culprit here. Where is it? Oh, God. Oh, God. We have a live one here, guys. We really do have a live one. Holy moly. Oh, of course, of course. Emily, run! Some sort of animal or something. Oh. Oh. Good thinking, good thinking. Okay. I don't like being on conveyor belts. Where is this gonna end up? Stay on, leap off, leap off, come on, get off, get off this. Run, run, run. something there.
I, I need I need a breather <laughs> first up, and I need to save the backup save as well. So it was good timing. Oh my goodness me. Oh wow. Oh it's still coming, it's still coming. What happens now? I'm like readying myself for more quick time events here, guys. Crap. What now? Open the door, Michael. Let me in! Let me in! Let her in quick! Shut the door! Oh my god, shut the door! Emma, are you all right? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. Are you okay? You look totally wild. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down, sit down. Something's out there. Did you there. guys split up? A monster is a monster. Wait. Confused. Wait. A monster or concerned. Em, um, are you okay? I'm I'm concerned, of course. We're going to go with concerned here. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I don't feel anything. I just need to calm down. It was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Away from what? There, there was this... This thing, whatever it was. M, M, and you can relax. Josh was messing with You're us. You're not listening to me. Are I confused what happened or concerned? Where is Matt? Where is Matt? I'm concerned. I'm gonna go with that one, obviously. Wait, M, where's Matt? Is he okay? Matt, oh god, we, we couldn't use the cable car, so we climbed the tower, and then it fell, and we were down in the mine, like, way down, down in this terrifying freaking mine shaft. Hold on, hold on. And... And then it, it was Matt and me down there, and... Oh, God, I think that Matt might be dead. Wait, what? How? Emily, what happened? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and then it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found Oh, it. my God. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like... From the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks. When we were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. Listen, in in the tower, there was there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, Mike. <sighs> What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Someone's at the door. Look at that thing. Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Yeah, Chris has got our back. We feel so safe. <laughs> All right, demand. Give me the pistol. Suggest I'll cover the door. I don't think you should have the pistol. I'm going to suggest that you cover the door, my friend. <laughs> okay. I'm going to open the door. You ready? You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. <laughs> Alright, let's do this, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, ha, ha. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, what? Alright, alright. Just... Damn it, Michael. Easy, Grandpa. That was too easy. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. Who's this guy? I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with him and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the 
mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What is he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. <laughs> somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No, I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What, what do you mean? Uh, Chris, don't. I hit him. We thought he'd killed Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. Hey, going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you. Get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh... Yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. Shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. Hey, come back safe. Come on, we need to hurry, son. I, uh, see you soon. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's, uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. All right, guys. That was a long cutscene. So, uh, we are now going to try and save Josh. I'm going to look at these uh, butterfly effects first, quickly. The uh, point blank butterfly effect, it's uh, Chris didn't shoot Ashley. Ashley was concerned about Chris as he left. Yeah. Uh, things are moving uh, nicely between them too. Uh, all right, once bitten, Emily was bitten. That's all there is. That doesn't bode well. I don't know if that's gonna have some effect later on. I mean, it's not like they're zombies. I don't know. I don't know what they are. Bendigo. And then there's a new one here for uh, an update for who gets the gun. Matt had a defense against the attack. Was the last one. Let's see. Uh, the update Emily has no defense against the attack and was bitten okay so that was like a direct result of us giving the uh, flare gun to Matt follow the strange man and rescue Josh I yeah we got to rescue time to have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead well you be shooting it a long time you, you mean this thing won't even kill it no it'll slow it down well how do you kill it they don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. Scrub. 
This is some crazy, crazy stuff, guys. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well... They adhere to some pattern. Like any animal. Or human. Well, you know, like how? Have you got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. He didn't ask. Subtle. Yeah, this is uh, this is the one we've seen before. Yeah. Pro Wendigo tips. <laughs> like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something. Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on change of the movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. So I was just checking that area to see if uh, there was anything different, seeing as we're, we're with a different character than last time. So I guess the best tip he gave us was to stand still. And uh, if these things, uh, yeah, Wendigos, are or, or were human, do they, they still have some aspect of? Humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. I mean, is it really right to kill them? Maybe they could be cured or <laughs> They surrender human rights the moment they eat one another. There's no cure, there's no redemption. I, I, I mean, if they're still human, I don't know if it's right to hurt them. When you're staring one in the face, it's them or you. You feel free to take the high road. You won't be on it for long. Oh. This guy is like this old, wise, oldie one type guy. He's been living in these mountains for like years. He knows everything about these uh, Bendigos. He knows everything about the Washingtons. He probably knows everything about us. He should have been here from the start. He's probably he's probably the one that's been watching us too. Damn it! It's probably not Josh. It's probably been this guy been watching us whenever we've seen. Uh, Seen a guy like from from a distance looking in on us and stuff. Oh no, Josh is gone. Bollocks! Damn it! What happened? No, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. We gotta go right now. We gotta find Josh. He could still be out there. <laughs> on your organs one piece at a time so we'll watch then yeah. let's go now you might still be near he sounds positively delightful all right uh we're gonna do another quick save guys another backup save just in case this video doesn't make it all right let's resume I want to have a little look inside first before we uh, follow this guy. But uh, yeah. Oh crap. This is where Josh was. It's either he broke loose or this thing got him. I'm hoping he broke loose so he can uh, be still alive. He's a stupid idiot, but uh, he didn't kill anyone. And uh, I don't think he meant to hurt anyone either. Just, uh, just a really, really messed up guy. <laughs> just gonna check around here for clues or some totems. Maybe there's something left behind that we haven't checked out. Here's something over here. Ah, forget it. Josh's death machine. <laughs> With pig's blood on it, and oh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> this was the mannequin that Josh set up. All of this was Josh's uh, little prank. 
Well, it sure caught us out. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's do this. Let's follow the guy. Wait. Oh. oh. Oops. Run. Oh no. Go. That's gross. Oh, oh my shit. god. <gasps> oh my god, guys. Look at this. Oh, you better run, Chris. Oh. Yes! Got him. Run, run. Oh! Oh no, he got a, he got hurt now. He's he's, he's finished now, right? Oh my god! Come on! All right. Okay. <laughs> let me in! Let me in! Oh, thank God! Please let me in, quick! That was insane. Yeah, go. That thing was like right behind me. Ah! Go, 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 go! <sighs> Look at this thing. Oh, yeah, he's got Josh. Yeah, he's got Josh. Josh is a goner, guys. Oh my god, guys, thank god. What took you so long? Not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? It's beheaded. It, it, uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then... We're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Em? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? So that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You've been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. Em, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh it's my god. It's nothing, it just oh, it, no, it bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? The... the Wendigo. 
What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. M, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. What, is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're gonna turn into one, and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily! You can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no. You're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Oh. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike? Calm down, calm, calm down. down. You're, you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Okay, please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. No. Not for us. No, don't do this! This is absolutely I'm really crazy. Sorry. I'm not gonna do this. Are you crazy? It doesn't mean anything that she's bitten. Do you know what I went through to keep her alive? Fuck, I can't do this. Of course not. Oh Stupid, man. the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. This is not the walking dead, guys. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. What's she doing now? She seems very sneaky. What's she doing? What's she up to? Is she gonna try and kill her now? I thought that that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've got to be tough. We've got to do this on our own. I don't know if I can. All right, so we're with Ashley, and we have found another clue, cannibalism. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Bendigo. I am the this only This guy's a little OCD. Okay, okay I am... <laughs> All right, I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or it shall be your death. And your death will not be the last. The Bendigo must be contained. The Bendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms. When he has eaten nothing for many days. Alright, this is... He will kill without remorse. Clue found. Journal. Introduction. Okay, this journal is an account of the Bendigo. This creature is real and dangerous. If you're reading this, you will have questions. But I do not have all the answers. This is all evidence and stories of my own experience. So this is his kind of, yeah. This is his Bible, the uh, the stranger guy. We really uh, really needed him at this, this moment in time. Yeah, we already saw that. Let's go to the next one. All right, clue found, journal, history. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. There's a lot of history to this. Yeah, there is. <laughs> the Cree, their shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. All right, let's skip through. I can't read all of this, but in 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. So this has got, I think... All right, another one. Journal, combat. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The it says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. That sounds wonderful. So, they know how to mimic. 
The skin and flesh of the Vendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will help them at bay. Yeah, we did that with uh, <laughs> with Chris. I have killed six Vendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Vendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Vendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. Alright, so the dead miners. One by one I caught those who had infested the mountain. This guy's been through a lot. Holy moly, man. Alright, journal. True found. Bite. Oh, this, this is interesting. This is interesting, okay. Cree legends say that the Vendigo grows from the bite of another Vendigo, but the bite is harmless. Oh, okay. I've been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. So, Emily will not turn. This is not The Walking Dead. This is not Resident Evil. This is not World War C. She will not turn. So, I guess when Ashley is finished reading this, uh, right about now. Oh no no. Yeah, no, here we go. No. What is it? What does it say? All right, reassure M. You'll be okay. Conceal. Just crazy stuff in here. Wow, she's been real dark. If I would do that, no. Reassure, obviously. It says that the bites. It, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me, is that she fine? didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse, there's no excuse Please, Emily. This. Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. She kind of deserved I'm that, so, though. I'm so, so, so sorry. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get the mic. Like, now. All right, she read something ominous there. I think... That will be the last piece we will play for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I am very happy you stepped stepped into my channel today and checked this video out. And uh, I hope you see the rest of them. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.